Hey, hey Rev Youth! What is up, family? Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. We're super excited to have you guys right now on YouTube watching this video. Today we're gonna be doing a Q&A on good habits versus bad habits. We all know that we do some crazy things at home when no one is watching, and we wanna make sure that we're addressing everything that's happening in real life. And today, we have two amazing people. We have Anthony and Victoria. Uh, they're awesome leaders. They lead our middle school ministry here at our church, and I think it's an awesome opportunity for us just to interview you guys to see what is a habit, what are some good habits. But before that, we want everyone to know you guys. So why don't you say your name, uh, what school you guys go to, or if you guys work, and then favorite movie. All right. Okay, so I guess I'll go first. Hi, my name is Anthony. Um, I'm 21 years old. I am attending Point Loma Nazarene University. And my favorite movie, I would say, um, that's a tough one. I love Star Wars, all the Star Wars movies. Which um, one? Which one is the favorite? There has to be it's one. It's pretty generic. Um, Empire Strikes Back, nerd guy, so yeah. Okay, what about you? <laughs> uh, my name's Victoria. I don't go to school. I work. I work at Nordstrom, um, retail life. And um, favorite movie, I'm a Disney fan, and Frozen has taken my heart. Olaf has literally Okay, but Frozen 1 or Frozen 2? That's the real oh. question. I haven't even seen Frozen 2 yet. Like, I haven't See, even seen it yet. that's your problem. <laughs> I haven't seen it. It's on Disney Plus. <laughs> Frozen 1 and 2. Honestly, Disney Plus blessed us this time with Frozen 2. Honestly, I feel like Disney cursed all of us. Like, there's such false expectations on what life is all about. And when you watch a Disney movie, you get into your first relationship, and you're like, dang, this sucks. It's not a Disney movie. So thank you, Disney, for ruining all of our expectations on what life is. But you know what? Thank you, Jesus, that we have the Bible. And that's what we're going to go to. We're going to go to the Bible right now. And we're going to be in the book of Hebrews right now. And I want to, since we're talking about good habits versus bad habits, Hebrews 10, verse 24 and 25 says, And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. Obviously, right now, our church is not meeting here at the church locally, but we know that the church isn't just what happens in a building, but it's when people gather. And we all know that sometimes that's the habit of our lives where we come to church every single Sunday. But I know that youth out there, they are doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing at home because they're not here at church. Meaning that we put on this facade like, oh, I go to church, I'm a good Christian, and I have my life together, but at home, I'm a totally different person. So I just wanted us to give the open platform to talk about habits and good, good habits and bad habits. Good, oh God, good habits and bad habits. So can you guys just share what is a habit and what is the difference between a good habit and a bad habit? Yeah, so um, a habit is just something that you just learn to do as your life progresses and it honestly becomes like second nature. Like I would say a habit would be like um, brushing your teeth. You know what I mean? I would say that's a good habit. I hope that's a um, Yeah. <laughs> um, obviously right now, washing your hands is a, a good habit to have. Um, a bad habit would probably be um, maybe playing video games all night, staying up all night, not getting enough sleep. Um, I see Caleb right there like, what are you talking about? I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, definitely, um, obviously habits are something that really help us progress in our life. It's something that are very important in our life. And um, it's just knowing like, okay, what's good and what's bad? What's helping me? What's um, um, not helping me, you know? So definitely, yeah. What about you? Um, let's see. I'll, I'll be, let's be personal here. Okay, my personal uh, good habit, I will say, is, um, you know, I always, 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 um, when I wake up and, I, um, and I'm getting ready, worship is like, that's just a habit of mine. It's just worship in the morning. It's just my habit. And I'm so thankful that is my good habit. Now, okay, let's be real, y'all. We got some bad habits, and sometimes my bad habit is I'm a procrastinator, okay? Like, as much as I try to wake up on a Sunday morning to get here at 8 a.m., it just sometimes doesn't happen, and I just don't know why. I always say, 2020, I'm gonna not go to work earlier. 2020, I'm not gonna get to church early, and somehow, I wake up late, and I can't wake up. I'll wake up early for Disneyland, mm. but I will not wake mm. up early for church, and that mm. is a bad habit. Habit, y'all. It's a bad habit. I just want to be real with y'all. We all got some bad and good habits. Yeah, and there's this saying about habits, like the whole idea of what a habit is and how it starts with a cue or a trigger. We all have something that triggers us, whether it's a location or a time. Yeah. Whether you're home alone, that that triggers something. And then all, of, and then it goes into trigger, then it goes into cue, and then it goes into action and reward. 
So basically, all of us have something that trigger us, whether it's being home alone, whether it's texting a person, whether it's watching things that we shouldn't watch. Then we obviously have an action where we get to decide how we're going to behave, whether we're going to fall into the temptation, or are we going to fall into the trap, or are we going to be like Jesus and not fall into the temptation. Yeah. And then the last thing is reward. So one of my temptations, like I, I love cookies with milk. Like this is just one of my habits. It's a bad habit I have every single day, meaning that look at every single time I go to bed, every single time, every single time I go to bed, the, the, when I'm on my bed, I have to have a glass of cookies with milk. Yeah. And it's, it doesn't even matter if I'm hungry, if I'm tired, I'm lazy or, or whatever. It's just a habit of mine. Now, some of you may be like, oh, that's a good habit or that's a bad habit. But the truth is, is that even when I'm bored, even when I'm not hungry, even when I'm hungry, I do it no matter what. Yeah. And that's the same thing with all of our habits. Whether you watch too much, too many movies, whether you listen to too much secular music, we all have something that we do even when we don't even think about it. Yeah. Whether it's a cussing problem. I know that back then, like by PC days, whatever, I used to have like a big cussing problem. And I realized how much of an issue it was, not just for me, but the people around me. So can we talk about how our how our habits not only affect ourselves but how it affects others? Can we yeah, talk about that? Um, definitely. Like what you were saying, um, you're saying like when you're alone, when you're at your when you're at your house, and I know a lot of us are at our house right now, yeah. um, probably watching something else. You probably scrolled on this video and like, oh, okay, I'm gonna watch that, and we're already right there. That's a great thing. Um, one of the things that um, definitely the devil does is that he tries to attack us when we're alone, when we're mm -hmm our most bored you know what I mean so it's important that when we're alone when we're not doing anything that we're feeding our spirit whatever it may be you know um, we're talking about the temptation we're talking about the temptation of Jesus you know for 40 days where the where Satan where the devil was trying to attack him every single way and the great thing about Jesus in that story is that um, he always responded with the Bible verse yeah. with scripture yeah. you know and I feel like um, a lot of us today like we're also you know involved in like the news and the world and like what's going on and yeah it's great to you know stay informed but it's also great to stay informed in your word Dang, you know yeah, what i mean good. because yeah. we all understand that the word is eternal yeah. you know the word does last forever so and maybe instead of like you know the first thing you do and this is checking me too i do yeah. this a lot uh, maybe the first thing you do instead of checking instagram how about you check your bible app mm. you know um see what the verse of the day is um get a get a word of encouragement get get some meat you know, um, to help you get throughout your day. So um, definitely, that's a that's a good habit to have. Um, and yeah, definitely. Yeah. Victoria, what about you? What are some habits that you ha have had in your life that have not only affected you but have affected others? Um, I would probably say, you know, I think going back to the same thing, not opening, not having the habit of opening up my Bible and getting into my Word every day, and the way it affected me, it affected me by maybe not my my walk in with Christ wasn't as mature so if, say if a situation happened I wouldn't take it the same way because I didn't have the Bible in me I didn't have um, God's Word in me to understand certain situations and you know right now you're watching from home and you're like you're scrolling through your phone and you're seeing all these things happening you're seeing all these like now they're just making fun of all these toilets, like what's going, I mean not the toilets, the um, toilet paper, and they're making all these different memes, all these different TikToks, and you're, yeah, we're laughing around the way, and, but see that the problem is sometimes it's the first thing we're doing in the morning, and instead of, you know, us being as Christ believers, as to open up our Bible and see what God has to say, you know, we're watching the news and seeing what all these people have to say, and watching all these videos and just kind of reflecting on what people are springing, but let's just go back to the word and see what God is saying about this situation. So. That's so important. I think you guys touched on two important things is that we always have to go back to God. Yeah. Like he needs to be our main reference in our life, like every single day. The first thing that we talk about in the morning and the last thing we talk about. It's, yeah. It is about Jesus. It was about Jesus. And it's always going to be about Jesus. And it, the funny thing is I think the devil works the same way every single day. And there's an acronym called BLAST. Whether you're bored, you're lazy, you're angry, you're stressed, or you're tired, your mind goes everywhere. And you do things that you know you shouldn't be doing. So whenever you feel any of those five things, text a leader. Text someone being like, hey, what are you doing right now? Hey, can we just FaceTime right now? So that you don't get yourself into something that you know you shouldn't be doing. All of us are like, all of those students right now, you're home alone. I want to encourage you guys to put God first. Read your Bible. 
pray, whether it's fasting, whether it's listening to a sermon or watching these videos, but just know that all of us here at Rev Youth, we love you, we're believing in you, and just continue to hit the subscribe button, follow us on Instagram at Rev Youth SD, and we'll be posting more videos for you, but know that we love you, we believe in you, and we'll see you at the next video. Love you guys.